Wisconsin may be known for their harsh winters, but it's also home to award-winning botanical gardens like this one that we're in here today. We're at the Rotary Botanical Gardens in Janesville. Later on in the program, we're gonna learn how it all began. Right now that we're talking about businesses pivoting, we've heard that word a lot this mm -hmm. last year, right. pivoting. Imagine if you're an event florist and an event planner, how do you pivot on that? We're gonna find out right now with Heidi Rossiter. She's the owner of Mod Bloom Floral and Events. Thanks for joining us, Heidi. Thanks for having me. So the big question, how have you adapted with your business over the last year? Well, last year was a little, a little nuts. Yeah. Um, some highs and some lows pros and cons, so I mean, it wasn't all bad. I, um, I think the event industry got hit pretty hard, mm -hmm. obviously with, you know, the capacity issue. So if you, if you, you know, if your wedding is 150, 250 people, how can you, how can you have a wedding when your capacity is at zero or, you know, 25% even? So I knew going in in the beginning, I'm like, well, okay, so if we're not gonna be doing weddings or they're gonna be postponed, What's the alternative? So I kind of had to pivot a little bit, mm -hmm. which isn't a bad thing. Um, you hear the word pivot quite a bit, but I decided to add retail in. And I don't do retail. I do weddings and events and planning and the design side. And I just decided, you know, I need to add some extra avenue of revenue. And that's what happened. And I also kind of figured out along the way that if people weren't taking vacations and they weren't spending the money that they would normally do, where, where were they spending the money? And I found that they were staying home, they were renovating their homes, they right. were, you know, curb appeal. And so that's kind of where I fell into place. I'm like, oh, I'm like, well, I already do a lot of permanent arrangements outside, like planters and wreaths. So I just pushed it. I pushed it as, as much as I could. And, and then that's kind of what happened. And it kind of evolved all the way through December along with a lot of people just wanted flowers in their home. Mm -hmm. So then I got those orders of like, you know, bi-weekly, I would love to have flowers in my home. So then all of a sudden, you know, yes, I didn't have the weddings coming in, but I had these other orders coming in, which helped me kind of survive through the worst of the months. Right, oh, yeah. that's great. And it sounds yeah. like it worked beautifully it worked. too. Yeah, Quick it thinking worked. on your yeah. part. Thanks. And you know, I saw that you've been in the floral, floral industry for over 20 years. So you've got a lot of experience yeah. right here, which kind of helps I with know. that pivoting. But how do you then keep learning, growing, challenging yourself, you know, other than, you know, the, the COVID time period mm -hmm. stuff, you've got to keep it fresh somehow, right? Yeah, and I think a big part of that is, was leaning on other people in the industry. Like, how are you doing through, through what's going on? Um, how are you making it through? Um, not everybody had the same situation as me. So then I had to figure out, okay, well, you know, I was talking to people, we were brainstorming with one another, but at the same time, I still wanted to make sure that I was keep, keeping up on what was going on, the trends, um, coming up with new ideas, um, making sure I wasn't kind of falling off the grid. Cause I mean, I think that that was really easy for a lot of people to do last year was yeah. to kind of lose that, that umph, that spunk. Mm -hmm. And I really needed to make sure that I was still really adaptive in the community, making sure I knew what was going on around me. Um, and just kind of keeping up with what was going on and, and keeping it fresh and new and staying creative when I could. Because yeah. so. eventually those events are coming back and you got to yes. be ready. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Well, and it gave me time to kind of brainstorm about new things, mm -hmm. which was kind of nice. So, yeah. so Heidi, we have you on TV. Let's give your business a little bit of a boost and, and tell them what are the services you have. Like Stacy just said, mm -hmm. events are going to come back. So mm -hmm. tell us what services you do. So I've been a florist for, I can't believe this, about 25 years in the event industry for about 11 years. So, you know, the weddings and events and things like that, um, which has carried me through. Um, I would say besides a wedding florist, I would say is that's my, that's what I know the best. I've been a florist for that many years, but I added the weddings in, the events, and then the planning part of it. Mm -hmm. So the, you know, a lot of people I found were wanting um, a planner or they needed that day of coordinator piece. Mm -hmm. So I added that into my company, which is nice because it's an added line of revenue with no overhead, which is great. Everybody wants that. Yeah. And mm -hmm. so for the most part, yeah, weddings, events, planning, floral, custom, real custom work. Uh, yeah, that's great too, you know, and I and we love to support um, female-owned mm -hmm. businesses, female-owned small businesses. You, you do too, mm -hmm. you support them as Definitely. well. Definitely. Just in the, in the little time we have left, can you talk a little bit about that? So downtown Janesville has just exploded in the last couple years with just business in general. Um, 
every downtown should have a, you know, an amazing place to, to, to come to, and Janesville's really gotten to that point. But a lot of the businesses are actually female-owned businesses. Which is awesome. Which is amazing, yeah. and they're not all the same. So we kind of support each other as we go along, and if we're not you know, buying a big box retailers, we're supporting each other and brainstorming and supporting each other. So, I love it. Yeah. Heidi, it's been a real pleasure chatting with you. Thank you. You can check out Mod Bloom Floral and Events. They're in Janesville, and so are we. We'll be right back.